Hey guys, we're back at it to you again. Bald Guy Home Setting Repair in this channel. I'm here with my wife, lovely wife. You know, she's been doing great things. Fallen Skies Homestead Preparedness Channel. Hey guys, uh, it's cold out here, very cold. Um, and I'm down here just checking on the pipe. Uh, we've had a pipe burst in the house. So I've been doing a lot of uh, repairing there in the house. Um, carrying buckets of water to flush toilets. And I didn't want this pipe to burst so I had to release the valve on it and you can see all the ice and stuff and so no this pipe didn't burst but that's because it wasn't carrying the water it, uh, it had the valve open so the water could flow out of it but the pond uh, the large pond actually uh, I mean, it was pretty thick, full of ice. Um, and I, I can tell you what, I was kind of surprised by that, how deep the pond is. I didn't think it would get that much ice on it. But I'm going to get ready to walk up here to the, uh, the lake. And um, I got to get some buckets of water so I can flush the toilet. Boy, you, you're talking about practicing your uh, your preps, boy. I, I can tell you what, we have been definitely doing that. A lot of patience, we've been practicing our preps, boy. Um, in fact, we went out and got more water containers, more uh, You know, I'm glad the, the heat didn't turn off, but I can tell you it's been, it's been a situation. It makes you uh, really thankful for the modern conveniences, but hey, you have to be prepared for all this stuff. So, going back up to the lake. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today at some point morning didn't feel like no 50 degrees but it is starting to warm up but you can tell there's ice all right there and yesterday this ice went all you can kind of see it Yesterday this ice was all the way out there. You can kind of see patches of it. But right now I'm gonna go get some buckets of water. Take it back up to the house. 
um, pour it in the toilets so we can flush it. Uh, I did fix the pipe, but I was waiting for today really when it was heating all the way up so that I can uh, uh, make sure that I can turn the water valve on and if there's any other pipes that need to be unthawed, uh, it has a chance to do that. Like I said, it's supposed to be 50 degrees today, so um, we're just going to hope for the best. And I can tell you what, uh, it was a kind of a testing time. I mean, I had the pipes over here, the bust, uh, we had the my uh, Duramax is in the shop, still in the shop. So we're using the wife's uh, car to get around and it had a oil line uh, bust on it. So, it's just, man, uh, from the cold, it's, it's, it's been a doozy. It's, it's been a doozy. But we're gonna make it through. Uh, I don't care what the devil throws at you. Come back swinging. Uh, you got the most highest power that there ever is with the most high. So just come back swinging with all you got. And that's all I can do. Uh, I can't get myself down. I got to keep pushing, keep pushing and keep pushing. But uh, it, it did show me where I was lacking in some of my, some of my stuff. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I did go back and get a lot of, um, plumbing, uh, things, uh, pipes, fittings, uh, alligator clamps. I mean, I, 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 I went back and got a lot because, um, you know, break, the, these pipes breaking like it is. I mean, I know that, you know, every year we get a hit of the snow, but usually it's not before, uh, December. This time it was before it was on, uh, the day of, uh, of Christmas, this happened, uh, the 25th. And, um, so now we're just, we're just, uh, getting things patched up and fixed up. Um, well, I'm going to go over here and grab these buckets, uh, fill them up full of, uh, water. And then I'm going to go ahead and, um, go flush these commodes. Uh, we have plenty of, um, drinking water and cooking water and stuff like that uh, you know one thing guys I'm gonna tell you um, I didn't understand why my friend who's um, you know he, he's on that uh, Idaho uh, Canada border and he had an incinerator toilet and um, you know I, I I was always joking with them, talking about, uh, that's some hot shit, and, uh, I can see why I had it, I, I, I really do, uh, I think I'm going to build me a lot of stuff, um, and I know, like I said, we, we, you know, this is only three days out of the, out of the year, um, but these three days have, uh, really pushed me into saying, you know, um, a lot of the prepping stuff, you know, we, 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 we prep for, I mean, hell, most of us is, have prepped for the zombie apocalypse more than we've prepped for winter chaos. I mean, and that's just being truthful. Um, I, I think that fantasy and, uh, that, that's a fallacy and, uh, we need to prep for, for what's really out here, which is, uh, cold weather, extreme heat, drought. Uh, food shortages, layoffs, power outages. That's the stuff you really need to prep for. The zombie apocalypse stuff, guys, uh, we need to stop with that. Um, you know, I know another guy, I mean, he has everything in the world for the zombie apocalypse and, and he didn't have a lick of water, uh, which is just crazy. So, and this whole notion of busting out and going out here and minus nine degree weather and uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm a break out and I'm gonna I'm get my bug out bag I'm gonna bug out man that's come on guys we gotta do better than this but anyway 
I'm going over here and filling up these buckets full of uh, cold water. I'll uh, water I can flush the toilet with. I'm going to go and after it heats up a little bit more, I'm going to check my work, turn the pipes back on, turn the water back on, see if everything is good. And uh, if it is, um, everybody can take showers. I can tell you what, like I said, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of building. Um, a lot of building this spring. A lot of building this spring. All right, Fallen Skies Homestead, Preparedness Channel. Thank you. Fallen Skies Homestead, Preparedness Channel. Hey, guys. Uh, it's cold out here. Very cold. Um, and I'm down here just checking on the pipe. Uh, we've had a pipe burst in the house so I've been doing a lot of uh, repairing there in the house um, carrying buckets of water to flush toilets and I didn't want this pipe to burst so I had to release the valve on it um, you can see all the ice and stuff um, so no, this pipe didn't burst, but that's because it wasn't carrying the water, it, uh, it had the valve open, the water could flow out of it, but the pond, uh, the large pond actually, uh, I mean it was pretty thick full of ice, um, and I, I can tell you what, I was kind of surprised by that how deep the pond is I didn't think it would get that much ice on it but I'm gonna get ready to walk up here to the uh, the lake and um, I got to get some buckets of water so I can flush the toilet boy you, you're talking about practicing your uh, your preps boy I, I can tell you what we have been definitely doing that a lot of patience we've been practicing our preps boy um, in fact we went out and got more water containers more uh, you know I'm glad the the heat didn't turn off but I can tell you it's been it's been a situation makes you uh, really thankful for the modern conveniences, but hey, you have to be prepared for all this stuff. So, um, going back up to the lake. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today at some point. This morning didn't feel like no 50 degrees. But it is starting to warm up. But you can tell there's ice all right there. And yesterday this ice went all you can kind of see it. Yesterday this ice was all the way out there. You can kind of see patches of it. But right now I'm gonna go get some buckets of water. Take it back up to the house. Um, pour it in the toilets so we can flush it uh, I did fix the pipe but I was waiting for today really when it was heating all the way up so that I can uh, uh, make sure that I can turn the water valve on and if there's any other pipes that need to be unthawed I has a chance to do that like I said it's supposed to be 50 degrees today so um, we're just gonna hope for the best. I can tell you what, uh, it was a kind of a testing time. I mean, I had the pipes over here bust. Uh, we had the, my, uh, Duramax is in the shop, still in the shop. So we're using the wife's uh, car to get around and, 
it had a oil line uh, bust on it. So, it's, man, uh, from the cold, it's, it's, it's been a doozy. It's, it's been a doozy. But we're going to make it through. Uh, I don't care what the devil throws at you. Come back swinging. Uh, you got the most highest power that there ever is with the most high. So just come back swinging with all you got. And that's all I can do. Uh, I can't get myself down. I got to keep pushing, keep pushing, and keep pushing. But uh, it, it did show me where I was lacking in some of my, some of my stuff. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I did go back and get a lot of... Um, plumbing uh, things, uh, pipes, fittings, uh, alligator clamps. I mean, I, 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 I went back and got a lot because, um, you know, break, the, these pipes breaking like it is. I mean, I know that, you know, every year we get a hit of the snow, but usually it's not before uh, December. This time it was before it was on uh, the day of, uh, of Christmas, this happened, uh, the 25th, and, um, so now we're just, we're just, uh, getting things patched up and fixed up, um, well, I'm gonna go over here and grab these buckets, uh, fill them up full of, uh, water, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, um, go flush these commodes, uh, we have plenty of, um, drinking water and cooking water and stuff like that uh, you know one thing guys I'm gonna tell you um, I didn't understand why my friend who's um, you know he, he's on that uh, Idaho uh, Canada border and he had an incinerator toilet and um, you know I, I I was always joking with him, talking about, uh, that's some hot shit, and, uh, I can see why I had it, I, I, I really do, uh, I think I'm going to build me a lot of stuff, um, and I know, like I said, we, we, you know, this is only three days out of the, out of the year, um, but these three days have, uh, really pushed me into saying, you know, um, a lot of the prepping stuff, you know, we, 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 we prep for, I mean, hell, most of us is, have prepped for the zombie apocalypse more than we've prepped for winter chaos. I mean, and that's just being truthful. Um, I, I think that fantasy and, uh, that, that's a fallacy and, uh, we need to prep for, for what's really out here, which is, uh, cold weather, extreme heat, drought. Uh, food shortages, layoffs, power outages. That's the stuff you really need to prep for. The zombie apocalypse stuff, guys, uh, we need to stop with that. Um, you know, I know another guy, I mean, he has everything in the world for the zombie apocalypse, and, and he didn't have a lick of water, uh, which is just crazy. So, and this whole notion of busting out and going out here and minus nine degree weather and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm a break out and I'm gonna I'm gonna get my bug out bag I'm gonna bug out man that's come on guys we got to do better than this but anyway I'm going over here and fill up these buckets full of uh cold water I'll uh water I can flush the toilet with I'm going to go and after it heats up a little bit more I'm gonna check my work turn the pipes back on turn the water back on see if everything is good and uh if it is um everybody can take showers i can tell you what like i said i'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of building um a lot of building this spring a lot of building this spring all right fallen skies homestead preparedness channel thank you Again, Fallen Skies Homestead Preparedness Channel. I'm out here 
next to my gazebo and I'm getting water and putting them in the buckets okay so we can uh, uh, flush the toilets and everything so what I do is just have my long handle and just put it out here let it fill up with water and get enough water in it then I uh, go ahead and get it out.